Mr. Shatner, this is Mission Control, Houston. Please call station for a voice check. I'm, uh, I'm calling. This is Shatner. Do you hear me? Mr. Shatner, this is uh, the space research vessel ISS in Earth orbit. And yes, I hear you loud and clear. How do you hear me? This is Chris Hadfield. Chris, I hear you loud and clear. It's such a pleasure to talk to you. Do you find yourself uh, in the space station observing as a scientist a part of it, a, a removed from it, or are you able to be to see the unifying parts of it so that you become at one with the universe? You never saw it on, on stage while you were filming, um, but the view that they used to put in for us watching Star Trek of how the world looks out of uh, Sulu and Chekhov's windows there, that's how the world looks. It's an enormous, wonderful, rolling earth below us. But all you have to do is flip yourself upside down and suddenly the rest of the universe is right there um, at your feet below you. And that's where... The, the engineer in me, of course, is, is very much thinking about the ship and, and how we got here and the, and the problems and the difficulties. But the human within me recognizes what we are in between. We've gone from climbing a hill, getting in an airplane, to now actually being right on the cusp of permanently leaving our planet. It's inspiring to hear. Let me go back to a moment. Uh, you've tested many airplanes. You've, you've uh, been a test pilot, which is like the utmost of uh, 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 example of courage in that you're flying something uh, unknown and you don't know what characteristics it's going to have. How do you deal with the fear, which is also applicable to going up into space and, and returning, which is perhaps even more fearful? Um, I, I read somewhere that... Uh you always knew your lines whenever you had a job in the acting profession. I have tried to always know my lines, whether it was as, as a fighter pilot or, or as an astronaut or as a test pilot. And, and the, way I, the way I deal with fear is I try to define what it is that's scaring me. And what I'm scared most of is not knowing what to do next. You know, to be uh, struck dumb on stage or to, to be uh, responsible for a vehicle and not know the right actions to take with my hands or with the spaceship. And so I spent almost my entire adult life making sure that, that I knew my lines. You've poised that perfectly as a, an actor. Uh, who is fearful of the audience, but as long as you practice enough, you, you learn what to expect. The fear comes from uh, something unexpected happening, like forgetting your words or an audience reaction uh, that's unexpected. Uh, in my case, uh, your, your face flushes and you get a sheen of uh, flop sweat. In your case, you burn up. It's a little different. Yeah, well, in, in both cases, you go down in flames, <laughs> but one's figurative and, and one is not. It's a pleasure, Chris. I look forward to meeting you in person. And All right, very nice talking with you. Thanks very much, and uh, all the best. Thank you. Same to you. Bye-bye.